Going without a visit to the hair salon for a few months has been an inconvenience for many women, but for some women, it caused even more stress and anxiety. Eyewitness News reporter Darla Miles talks with the owner of one salon that specializes in hair loss about what being able to reopen means for her clients. I panicked. <laughs> this pandemic has been horrible. But, um, you know, I was at work every day, and I was to a point saying, I can't, I'm not going to work if I can't if my hair comes off. This is what chemo and radiation did to Sherry Valley's hair six years ago. The full head of hair she has now is a medical grade scalp prosthetic, not a wig. Bad enough I had to go through the cancer, but to walk around almost bald is not a good thing as a woman. Now that salons in New Jersey have reopened, Bali has an appointment at Transition Solutions Hair and Scalp Center in Wall. You don't hear about it because they, it's considered, you know, you, you fall into the category of a hair salon, and that's not, that's not what we are. But because fungus and bacteria can build up, Bali and other clients have been without services for three months. We just needed to get them back in the door because we need to um, rebalance their scalp and put them back together again. In the event of another pandemic, Marzella hopes her status changes. I do think it's essential. I think that the scalp hygiene is essential. I think that the mental health aspect is essential. So I, the medical, uh, the medical uh, hair and scalp prosthetic itself is considered durable medical equipment. Marzella has nearly 500 clients who wear scalp prosthetics. And as you can imagine, now that salons have reopened, she's fully booked.